to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. And I'm Jeff Kanata. And it is time for headlines. The first of which is about toys. The New York Toy Fair is spinning down, and there's some really high-tech toys this year, particularly from Mattel. The toy maker announced two products in particular that caught our eye. First, they unveiled an updated Thing Maker, but instead of the goop baking box from the 1960s, this time around, it's a 3D printer for kids, complete with an app to design custom toys. Mattel also brought Barbie's dream house into the 21st century, complete with voice commands, color changing lights, and other Internet of Things compatibility. Both products will each cost $300 and will hit retail stores later this year. Interestingly, Hasbro went with a much more analog approach, kind of the opposite from what Mattel was showing off. Arch rivals to the bitter end. Yeah. But I'm, we'll, we may have to talk about that later this week. I think maybe that's a Thursday topic in the week. It, it might be. Uh, so let's talk about Vanderbilt University. There is a team of scientists there using a $40 cotton candy machine to create artificial human capillaries. Human capillaries are very, very small, about one-tenth the diameter of a human hair, so creating artificial capillaries has proven pretty difficult for scientists. But the Vanderbilt team is using a store-bought cotton candy machine to spin up sugar strands. Then they pour gelatin over the cotton candy, which coats each individual strand. And once that gelatin cures, they dissolve the cotton candy inside each gelatin channel, creating a system that could be a first step towards artificial vasculature to sustain lab-grown organs. Amazing stuff. Well, the next step for the team is to find a way to get cells through those channels without clogging them up. I'm hoping they go with gummy bears. <laughs> gummy bear cells. Gummy bear <laughs> this cells. is amazing. It is. It's incredible. This is like one of those science things that you, you just... It blows your mind to use this product they got at a Target. A cotton candy machine they got at a That's Target. That's the ultimate mod. Ultimate, yeah, ultimate mod squad, yeah. for sure. Uh, so if you guys want to talk about the topic that we pick for Thursday's show, you can use the hashtag HeyTD. Yeah, we love it when you shout at us over social media, and then if we like what you say, we'll incorporate it into our discussion, our deep dive discussion on Thursdays. Speaking of which, what do you think we should choose? Well, I know you got really excited about all, all the toys. I, I like that, talking about toys. You know, I think even more interestingly is the Hasbro approach. So I feel like we have to talk about that. Okay. And and why they might be moving in that direction for this year. I think cotton candy organs is pretty crazy, but yeah, May I'm with you. Let's go toys. We, we we have a wild card, so we might be able to pick two from one day. But well, maybe let's people go can uh, give us their recommendations as that's well using right. that hashtag #HeyTD. That's right. So now that that's all been said, let's check out our photographer of the day. Today's photographer of the day is Chuck, who took this infrared photo on his iPhone 6 using a, a fancy pants attachment. Yeah, he writes to us and says, Jeff and Ashley, love the show. Attached is a photo of my two golden retrievers snoozing. The picture was taken with an iPhone 6 with an IR adapter by Fleur, F-L-I-R. The shot shows different degrees of heat from the dogs. White is the warmest on the dog in the front. You can see his warm breath. You have my permission to use this photo on your show, Chuck. This is good for when you're playing Metal Gear Solid with your dogs in real life. That's right. You're looking for them, and you need to make sure they're sleeping. You check them out in the dark. We <laughs> yeah. got to make sure they're sleeping Sneak in the dark. Sneak up on them. You don't want to turn the light on because they might realize you're there, and then it's going to be just licks all day long. They're going to jump all over you and give you little <laughs> dog slurps. Your, your heat map will yeah. be much hotter. It's all ruined. It's oh, all, yeah. Then it's all ruined. So, yes, that's very handy for making sure your dogs are asleep in the pitch dark of night. Very cool photo, though. Yeah. Thanks a lot. If you want to be our photographer of the day, Send us your photo, tell us what device you took it on, give us a little story about it, and make sure you give us permission to use it on the show as well. Yeah, our email address is right down here. It's tomorrow at cnet.com. And then, of course, you can find us all over social media. Uh, we are all over the show on the internet, guys. Yeah, we love hearing from you, and we uh, will be back tomorrow with more headlines, and then Thursday we're going to hit you with some deep dive stuff. So Yes, and we will have a guest Ooh, having yeah. to do with gravitational waves. Oh, man, I'm very excited about you that. You love science. Yeah. Don't miss Thursday's show. Uh, that is it for the show, guys. Until next time. Be good humans. Bye.